Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Timmy Lee Glean coming at you with another video. Um, you know, I'm having fun doing these. Um, I'm not not necessarily fun like I'm like exciting, but you know, getting these thoughts off of my chest. And there's a lot of things and lots of thoughts that I have um, as far as pertaining to be a parent. And I think a lot of the stuff that I'm saying is things that maybe a lot of people aren't speaking about or should speak about. But over the years, I've had all these thoughts, you know, of as a child growing up and seeing how other people are raised. I always had these thoughts inside, you know, but now since becoming a, a single parent and somebody that has custody of my children, you know, and... You know, I have like some sort of system that's working, you know, and how I'm raising my children. And I thought that I, I would have the expertise to help young parents, uh, especially single parents. And like I said, I, I'm grown up and with people, around people. So I got to see the results of how somebody was raised and got to see the results of that in their adult lives and how they're passing down the things that they've been raised psychologically to believe and think to their children. You know, so I think that some of these things that I'm speaking about is very important and I believe more people should speak out and speak up because these children matter and it seems like people don't care about the children. These parents are selfish and they care about themselves and nobody's speaking like we're speaking about man and woman, especially in the brown community, man against woman. We're speaking about this, this war and the, the statistics. I really don't care about the statistics anymore like that. I'm, I'm just telling you the children matter. And that's the issue. I feel like, you no, know, and I don't see enough people speaking about this stuff. So I'm going to talk about it, and I hope that this can spark something in you. And if you know anybody that's a single parent or parent in general, you know, and maybe they need to hear this, or maybe they just need a, a breath of fresh air, like, okay, it, it's some people out here that care about the children. You know, play this for them, or play this for yourself, and, and share, and like, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I have many topics, a plethora of topics that I'm going to be speaking about, but specifically, I want to focus on this, because I'm tired of what I've been seeing, and I'm just going to talk about it. So, here we go. All right, so in this one, it's going to um, kind of piggyback off from the last video, from the last topic. Um, and I think this is very important. And I feel like many parents of my generation do not care, like, how, you know. I'm not even going to say parents of my generation because the 90s parents, that's when it really got careless. You know, the, the, in the crack era, in the, in the mid to late 80s and stuff like that, like, parents have stopped caring, but... Not saying all, and if this don't apply, let it fly, because there are parents that care, but there are lots of parents that don't care enough to get to know their children's friends, um, their children's friends' parents, and what type of environment, you know, they live in. And I feel like this can be completely detrimental because you don't know what type of thing that these children are going through. And... Some of the biggest, you know, predators to children are other children, you know, and if you're putting them in certain environments where they're already being abused and things like that. And, you know, say, for instance, there's a lot of spending nights, a lot of weird stuff, as I said in my, in my past video, a lot of this weird stuff be happening at the spending night when you having your children or your child or, or whatever spend a night at somebody's house, you have to be weary of the place that they're staying at. Even if they're not spending the night, even if they're just going to hang out and chill. There's crazy stories going on about, you know, kids drinking and doing drugs and, and certain stuff like that. And now you got your child influenced negatively because they're put in an environment where they shouldn't be in. And not to even say parents don't care, per se, but I think you need to take more precaution and caution and don't let the, the, this nation and, 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 and the rhetoric fool you. Like, your children need privacy, nah, nah, like, and all this stuff, and, you know, and 
how how your children interacting on social media because TikTok, this TikTok is wicked. You know, like I've been on TikTok and luckily since I've looked up Christian content, like that's what pops up in my like the the for you and, and the stuff like that. So Christian content pops up, but every so often you might see some you know um seductive type of thing like they got actual porn stars on here so if your 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 child your children is looking at certain stuff on, on social media especially on tiktok and they can see they can scroll and scroll and, and it's just there and they can go to the page and, and then like what are you allowing as far as you know access to technology and 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 are you putting parental blocks on stuff and certain things like these things matter it don't mean you got to put a tracking device on your child and, and track them where they're going and what they're doing but ultimately you should be active enough in your child's life you should have that rapport with your child to have that open line of communication to you know know certain stuff you know but you as a parent should have say in your child's life you know like the ch children gonna make their own friends, but it's up to you to oversee that, to be like, yo, this ain't somebody good for you. And your child sh should respect you enough to be like, listen to you. You know, man, this ain't somebody good to be around. Your children should know right from wrong, but if you a parent and you're not even teaching your children right from wrong, it's so easy to, to brainwash them. It's so easy to influence them. It's so easy, you know, to just, have one spending night and 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 to mess up their entire lives. Where you got weird people doing weird stuff with their children, and now their children is all along all along with your child. Weird stuff happening, and they bringing weird company over. It's just just weird stuff, you know. Like I vividly remember being younger and and. It be like younger girls in school and, and they talking about like high schoolers and, and stuff like that. And, you know, you see older dudes, you know, in their 20s looking at girls my age. Like, and I've, I was so observant. So I can see when somebody looking at like a young girl and stuff like that. Like, I'm pretty sure that's somebody's father or somebody's uncle or somebody something you know what i'm saying like they just out here you know but you got to watch out for the predators and, and 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 just the people that are you know not good influences but ultimately the, the spending the night you know if your child isn't even at a proper age to and like I said, you don't know their friends. You don't know who's who their parents are. You don't know what type of influence they have. You know, you got to get to know them. You got to get to know those parents or parent. You got to. You as a parent have to get to know the parents of your children, you know, of your children's friends. Or you just allowing them just whatever. And this is why people are terribly influenced because nobody's getting to know anybody anymore. I just remember, and I, not say I remember because I ain't lived back then, but it was a day, a point in time where we were a community. So everybody knew each other. And since everybody knew each other, since we were more like a tribe, we are a tribe, just a, a scattered tribe, but we are a tribe ultimately. So once... We all were together. We all already know everybody. We all go to the same school. We, you know, we all go to the same laundromat. We all go to the same pharmacy, the same, the same grocery store. You know what I'm saying? Like once we had our own community, then our own dollars circulating and stuff as far as the brown community, you know, and um, it's easy to keep tabs on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Parents talk with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's child did something wrong, the, the the other parent would bring it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, your child did this. It's some parents that just allow their children to do whatever. You know, it's parents that drink and smoke and do drugs and, and, and whatever other stuff with their children. 
Now your children in that environment, and bam, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's that easy. It's that easy to mess up your life. You got kids basically doing crack now. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's with all these rappers rapping about this stuff, it, the influence is crazy. That's why you don't know what type of influence, you don't know what type of demons, you know, like these parents have and how they raising their children. You got to get to know those parents because you as a parent are going to be able to discern, especially if you're spiritually aware, especially if you're in the most high God, you definitely going to be able to clearly see whose child that is. That a child of God or a child of Satan himself. And like I said, I don't want to come here to be judgy or anything, but as a parent, you got to judge. And don't let nobody make you feel bad for judging. If you look at the word judge, the definition of the word judge, you have to be able to decipher the situation at hand and, and look and see like you. If you're not doing that, what's the use of being a parent if you're not able to judge things? This means you're just allowing whatever in your child's life that is a recipe for destruction. You know, so... Ultimately, you know... I say stop the spending nights. If they're not like close family or people that you already trust, people that you already know, you should not be allowing your children to spend a night anywhere. And... Until you get to properly know somebody, until you get to properly know some parents or a parent or things like that you know and and get to know these children because like i said sometimes it don't be the parents it be somebody that's in the lives of the parent that that causes harm to a child and now that child is alone with your child you know what i'm saying so i don't know the dynamic of everybody's house i don't know but i know that a lot of people have been abused in some sort of way and they can pass that on to somebody else. Like I said, one of the number one under most underlying predators, we all blame men, you know what I'm saying? But in my last video, you know, I pointed out that women do it too. But one of the number one things that children have access to more than anybody else are each other. And this is something that we don't pay attention to. It's something like... You got your daughter spending the night at your daughter's friend. And do she have any brothers? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> she probably going over there for a brother or something. Or going over there to meet up with somebody. Or, you know what I'm saying? You got your son going to visit. You know what I'm saying? Inviting random girls around. And, and just, these are children. You know? I ain't talking about you being an older teenager and, and dating. But. Even so, I believe you should be celibate until you're married. And this is what I believe. But ultimately, you got to be watching out who your children are around. Not just spend the nights. I mean, in general, who they hanging out with. Who their parents are. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not getting to know their household situation and certain things like that, how? And if it is one of them situations where somebody's being hurt in their household and... Your child is friends with them and they bring that up to you. And you as a parent, a caring parent, you know, you could step in and I guess see the situation, investigate. But honestly, I would say, man, just, just watch who your children are around. Watch who your children hang with because, like, that's, you never know what's happening. But I've seen too many people be influenced by the wrong stuff like your parents could raise you well you know your parents could do a great job at raising their child the moment they go to school you know what i'm saying they influence their school after school they're hanging out with whoever after school you know by the time they get home they're acting like how they were you know raised which you know what i'm saying and then go back to school and you know what i'm saying so it's you got to watch who your children are around. But ultimately, watch them spend the night. Your children shouldn't be spending the night at whoever house. Your children should be home. You know, and if you want to go out or whatnot, and 
you better grandma you know what i'm saying like that's that's one of the most reliable people grandma or or a, a trusted brother or sister you know what i'm saying that that also has children or you know a, a very very close friend that you know you know they family and everything but people that you halfway know or kind of know or you you know them for a year or two but you don't know they family you don't know their background you don't know nothing about them and i feel like if you don't know nothing about the people in your life you shouldn't even be around them and it ain't about knowing every single little detail but you yourself shouldn't be around people that you barely know and you a grown-up so why would you put your children in the fire like that so ultimately you know i just want to um thank you for listening to this you know I don't want to get on here and just like yell at you all the time and complain and things like that. But these are thoughts on my mind as a single parent, as a single father. And like I said, growing up, I've seen things and I know the precautions that I'm going to take with my children. And I just want to relay this stuff to you in the hopes that you, you know, kind of get the message and, and, and get it. You know, but ultimately, just like I said in the last video, if, if you are a um, believer in the Most High Yah, uh, the Most High God, you know, Jesus, you know, and, and all that. Uh, if you're Christian and things like that, go to God and pray about this type of stuff. You know, because ultimately, like I said, the children are the main priority in this whole entire thing. That is who you're raising, and you're either raising destruction, or you're raising healing and the breaking of generational curses. You're raising a light to this earth. You're raising the salt to this earth. Yeah. And that's very vital, especially in the times that we're moving in. And I predicted this. Um, when I first came into the truth of y'all and, and things like that, and I started to look at my life growing up and, 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 and my generation growing up, and, and I see how they've grown and progressed. And I'm saying, all oh, y'all bad. But what I'm saying is, my generation is raising the generation that will raise the worst generation of human beings that has ever existed in humanity. I'm not saying I'm a prophet, but I believe this is some prophetic revelation that I had just looking at my generation and these people having children that shouldn't have children. That's messing these little children up in the way that society is moving, the way that the educational system is moving, and the way that legislation and law is moving, and the way they're trying to strip away f certain freedoms, and the way they're trying to strip away history, and trying to recreate and remold, you know, a... a, a My children's generation is going to raise the worst generation of human beings that have ever existed in the existence of human beings. And the scriptures are said in the last days, it'll be like the days of Noah with technological advancement. What do you think we going towards now? Do you see where this world is going? Do you see what's happening around this world even? Do you see what's happening in this country? And Brown community, have you noticed what's been happening these past 50 plus years since what uh, desegregation, since that civil rights bill been signed? And everything, every movement infiltrated our community and separated us. So now men that actually make sense get canceled. You know, men that make sense, like I told you, people in my hometown hate me. People in my hometown do not like me. And I believe if this get out in the airwaves, people ain't going to like me. Because people been hurt as children. And they growing up putting their children in the same situation. Instead of accepting accountability for raising messed up children, they will attack you. And they will hate you for speaking the truth. And like I said, I ain't scared anymore because this, this ain't about me. First of all, I give glory to the Most High for all things. To place it in my spirit, you know, to put me in a position to be a, a single parent. To place it in my spirit to speak about these things because the children matter. And it seems like all these arguments that I've gotten in over the years wasn't even about the children. 
it was about, man, you hate men, you hate women, you know, especially, you hate black women because I care about my community. Because I found out that we are the true Israelites, that I found out that we have a true identity, and I can clearly see through this whole entire system. And once you speak about it, your own people hate you. Because we in we into everything else. We here because we is worshiping other gods. Look at us now. You feel me? Ultimately, I'm not trying to come at what you believe in. I'm not trying to come at what you're following. I'm not trying to come at your spiritual source. But I know my source. And I know that this source is truly a source of truth. Of wisdom. And of knowledge. And that's the most high God, Yahweh. The one that sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross. That's the God that I believe in. And like I said, it seems like since coming into this truth, I make so much sense. I'm not always right. I'm not trying to be self-righteous. I'm not trying to be holier than now. I'm not trying to be better than anybody. I care about the children. I want you to get this in your head that I care about the children. Do you care about the children? Do you care about your children? Do you love your children? That's the question that I have because I question a lot of you parents and your love for your children. No, man, you need to mind your business, man. Worry about raising your kids. No, I care about your children more than you. That's the problem. So if I said anything that triggered anything in you, then bam, you need to look at yourself. Because you're messing your children up. Allowing them to be in certain environments that harms them and hurt them without even getting to know the situation. Know what's going on around them. Not even knowing what's going on with your children. How they feeling. Like what they going through in their heart. What, what, what are their thoughts? Going through stuff. A lot of y'all parents don't care. So. I'm going to speak about it. Because. Like I said. I can make mad different Facebook statuses. And Facebook posts. I've done this for the last several years. And people in my hometown have come at me disrespectfully for me clearly relaying what I could clearly see the results of. And if the shoe fits where? If you upset, that means it's true. And if it's not applying to you, you could let it fly. But if you can't let it fly and you're offended, that means it's true about you. And you need to examine yourself and look at them. Don't talk, talk. I'm, I examine myself every day. I've been in my phone too much lately. Yesterday, I just apologized to my children. All three of them, I apologized. I said sorry because I'm spending more time in, in my phone. You know what I'm saying? In social media, in my phone, you know, in, in, in certain aspects. Like, not saying I don't do what I need to to take care of my children. And I got... Lots of work in here as far as the businesses and, and all that stuff. So, but, and music and all that stuff. But ultimately, I want to spend more time with my children, family time together, you know, and, and just certain little small one on one time. It's always all three of them together. I want to spend one on one time with my children. So, it's, it's, it's certain things about me, my faults, you know, like if I'm. Screaming and yelling too loud, I sit the children down and say, "Yo, I'm, I apologize for you know how I carried myself, conducted myself." So you can't speak that way about somebody that is already self-reflecting by the power of the Holy Spirit. I thank God. I'm not self-righteous. I'm not better than anybody. I'm just a father that cares for the children. I'm a single father that cares for the children. I'm a single parent that cares about the children, and most likely I care about your children more than you. And that's why I'm here recording this video. But ultimately, I hope you got something out of this. I know it kind of got on a rant. Some of these are going to be ranty. I got some stuff to just get off my chest. And I'm just kind of just going off the top with it. And getting my feet wet with this YouTube content thing. But, um, there's a lot of stuff coming soon. You know, new music, new films, and, and all that good stuff. You know, so... You know, be on the lookout for all of that. And um, 
Like I said, I ain't even using this to promote my website or nothing. I'm not really even trying to promote anything else. I ultimately want to focus on the children on these videos. And moving forward, like, that's going to take care of itself, I believe. But ultimately, I want to thank you for watching this video once again. And, you know, God bless.